What's up guys? Welcome to your 34th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me, Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to introduce you guys to what implementing means. And just for a minute, imagine an application that we set up and it has a ton of buttons and they're all going to be set clickable. So we're going to use this on click method. And as you can see, we're setting our set on click listener and then basically just so we can use this uh, on click method and uh, you know if we had like 20 buttons this would be kind of tedious and boring to set it up this way and as well as it adds a ton of code to to our uh, class so basically we can clean this up by just having one on click listen or on click method and kind of defining what we want to do within there so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up to the top of our class and it says extends activity and again when we extend an act or a class we can use some of the methods but what we can also do is we can implement a class so we're gonna say implement and you do that by saying implements and then you say uh, the class that we're gonna implement and again we're gonna implement the view on click listener class so we can uh, basically use the method from that class so again we're just gonna say view dot on click listener <clears throat> and there we go and basically it's given us an error because anytime we implement something we have to use all of the methods from that class again when we extend something we ha we can use the methods from that class but when we implement we have to so that's why it's giving us an error so if we hover over a class name it says add unimplemented methods we're just going to click that and then if we scroll down to our bottom again just kinda like when we set up a, a method in the last tutorial it's gonna create a new method for us right below that method and it's called on click basically that's the same method as right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a switch in case to determine which button has been pressed so again this is just kind of a review on the switch in case but this is also gonna kind of introduce you guys to passing in data I know we did this with our list view but when a when this on click method is called it gives us which view was pressed and again like a buttons view, a text view is a view all that stuff's a view so what we can say is v um, because they labeled this view um, that's the data that they're giving us for example we could also say label it view because that's kind of just like a variable and then we can reference that variable within uh, these brackets so we're gonna say view and hit dot and we're gonna say get id and that's going to give us the ID that we set up in the XML of whatever view was pressed. And that's what we're going to look for our switch in case. And then we're just going to hit up, set up a bracket. And we're going to set up two cases because we have two buttons. So we're going to say if the case is r.id. Uh, button results, which was our, you know, our command button for the most part, um, we're going to do whatever is right here. And we're going to hit break and if it was uh, the case that oops the case of r.id.toggle button uh, password we're gonna do whatever is in here um, again we set up a break to break the switch and I'll leave this on for one second now all we're gonna do is transfer our code that we set up within our on click methods up above so we have uh, this is our check command so we're just gonna copy whatever we put in within this on click method so it's basically that string and all that other good stuff just copy that and uh, we're gonna paste it below and I grabbed one extra bracket so you wanna do it right here copy this and again this is for our results so we're gonna say V right there and then we're just gonna kinda of delete it out of delete it out of this on click listener for the most part and now it's gonna pass in some information and if it's the ID of basically our check command ID it's gonna do basically that on click method that we just set up there and then we're also gonna do that with this on click method as well so we're just going to copy that or cut that and paste it for if our toggle button was pressed. And then, um, then we're just going to kind of 
clean up some of this code and instead of doing a new view we're gonna just say because it's again it's looking for a on click listener so we can use our on click method so now what we can do is we can type this for the context of our class this so it's gonna look for a through our class and say hey we're looking for a view on click listener and it's gonna be like oh we implemented that and we can use the on click method so now this button is gonna refer to this on click method that we set up and we got that because we implemented implemented it and then it's gonna give us some data for the which view was pressed and if it's the check command ID it's gonna do basically what we set up in our on click listener before so again all we have to do is just type this as well and look how much cleaner our on create method is basically it's only three lines of code and then it refers to our either our on click method or our bacon and eggs method so that's kind of how Java programming works for the most part you guys can implement methods and that way it kinda of cleans up the code and we're just gonna check and make sure this works as always because it's good to check and uh, check frequently for the most part so hopefully you guys understood that tutorial for the most part again it's just about implementing for the most part and uh, when we implement we have to use all the methods from that class so this class only has one one uh, method which is called on click. So again, we're just going to make sure it works by typing WTF and it looks like it's good. So thanks again for watching, guys. We're going to be kind of implementing some more stuff as we go, but we're going to create a new application in the next tutorial. So thanks again and have a good day.